Jason Moe is the king of Atlantis and a Justice League member. He is, in other words, a proper superhero. He doesn't always feel like it, though, even on Aquaman set. Warner panics as Jason Momoa confirms Aquaman 2 injury. Heard to blame. Jason, who is currently working on the Worlds of DC sequel, has revealed that since he started filming for the Aquaman follow-up, he sustained a number of injuries. I'm getting old, that's what's happening, he admitted. Appearing on The Allen Show, Mawa chalked up his war wounds to age, revealing that as well as a scratched cornea, he also suffered from a hernia and injured ribs. I messed up with my eyes and just got something in it that kind of cop it up. I've got to get surgery, he sighed. I have hernia, I got ribs out, I'm just getting beat up. I love my job and I get a little too excited and then, you know, the age thing. I'm an aging superhero right now. Fortunately, Jason isn't letting a little surgery get in a way of making a blockbuster. It's gonna be a great movie, you're gonna love it, he promised fans. I'm good to go too. Also returning for Aquaman 2 is Dolph Lundgren, who so far seems to have avoided any injury, confirming he was back on set as King Nereus earlier this month. Lundgren praised the movie's script cast and crew. Hanging out in my trailer on Aquaman 2, he told followers on Instagram. Great script, great director, terrific cast, and a fantastic crew. Really enjoying it. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom will see Amber Heard back as Mira, Patrick Wilson as Orm, and Yahya Abdul Mateen II as Black Manta. Let's hope they have all got insurance. Jason Momoa has revealed they suffered rough injuries while filming Aquaman 2. The actor appeared on Alan Jenner's chat show, explaining that he was hurt. When the host asked what had happened, he quipped, I'm getting old. Momoa, who is 42, continued, I messed up with my eyes. I messed up my eyes. I just got something in it, kind of cop it up, and then I've got to get surgery. I have hernia, I got ribs out, I'm just getting beat up. I'm just kind of give it, yeah. I love my job and I get a little too excited, then the age thing you know, and I'm aging superhero right now. The injuries corroborate his previous statement that Aquaman 2 will feature more action than its predecessor, which was released in 2018. In an emotional Instagram post, Momo, who can be seen in June, recently dedicated Aquaman 2, a young fan who tragically died after a battle with cancer earlier this year. Jason Momo is giving his all to his latest role, even it means getting a scratch here and there. The actor of 42 is set to star in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom after first playing the title superhero in the 2018 Aquaman film. During a Monday appearance on the Alan DeGeneres show, Momo revealed that reprising the role hasn't come without its own risks. When a host Alan DeGeneres asked him about rumors then he'd hurt himself while filming, Momo confirmed he sustained quite a few injuries, telling her, I'm getting old. I mess up my eyes, I just got something in it that kinda cop it up and then I've got to get surgery. I have hernia, I got ribs out, I'm just getting beat up. Momoa continued before reassuring viewers, it's gonna be a great movie, you're gonna love it. When the generous asked if he is able to see with his scratch cornea, Momoa replied, yeah, yeah, look at me, I can see great, telling the host, I'm good to go, citing Momoa's many past injuries, which include a broken femur and a face injury that left a scar, the generous 63 told them that the rough job you got there, every move you're on, you're hurting yourself. Momoa didn't have much of an excuse but replied, I'm just kind of give it, yeah. I love my job and I get a little too excited, then the age thing you know, I'm an aging superhero right now. Momoa has been filming the second Aquaman film since the summer, when he first arrived in London to start production on the sequel. In July, he revealed that he was going blonde for the film. This is the last day of the brown. I'm gonna be a blonde, he shared in a video posted to Instagram. They supposedly have more fun. I don't know about that. We'll test it out. Earlier this summer, Aquaman 2 director James Wan announced the official title for a sequel, Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom. The film, which is scheduled for a 2022 release, also stars Patrick Wilson as Orm and Amber Heard as Mira. People are going to be in for a treat when Aquaman 2 comes out. Wan teased a DC fandom on Saturday per Variety. They are going to get a movie that's more mature but yet still retains its fun to give audiences something different, something new they haven't seen before. Amber Heard is paying no mind to the critics consistently calling for her firing from Aquaman 2 as the actress fired back by expressing how excited she is to start filming. This week, director James Wan revealed that the upcoming superhero sequel will officially be called Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. 
The sequel will bring back Jason Momoa as the titular Justice League member with Heard co-starring as Mira, reprising her role from the original movie. The Aquaman 2 news reignited a defending campaign for Amber Heard to be fired from the sequel. On Twitter, her name was quickly trending as tens of thousands of people condemned Heard's involvement. It also led to more names being added to the growing petition on Change.org for the role of Mira to be recast, which has now garnered more than 1.84 million signatures. The backlash is certainly impossible to ignore, but it appears to have had no effect with the Aquaman 2 production. Amid renewed a controversy over her casting, Heard posted a flashback photo on Instagram of her standing alongside Jason Momoa, while not addressing her critics directly. Heard makes it clear that she is still a part of the project, suggesting that she's ready to get back to filming with Momoa for Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom. The backlash against Amber Heard relates to her tumultuous relationship with Johnny Depp and their ongoing legal battles. Because of the publicity, Depp was asked by Warner Brothers to resign from his role as Gellert Grindelwald and Fantastic Beasts 3, even though filming had already begun. Depp supporters argue that the same studio firing Depp over the allegations, while kept Heard on board for Aquaman 2, is a double standard, as many believe it, it was actually Heard who was abusive toward Depp, based on evidence released by the actor's legal team. Heard has also previously dismissed the petition demanding her firing. In November, she confirmed to Entertainment Weekly that she was set to reprise her role as Mira in Aquaman 2, despite any rumors to the contrary. She also suggested that the petition was part of a paid campaign that ultimately won't make a difference on her casting. Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality, Heard said. Only the fans actually made Aquaman and Aquaman 2 happen. I've excited to get started next year.